Okay, folks, we're actually going to begin. All right, and the way it begins is this way. Adequate notice of the May 24, 2018 meeting has been provided in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act by posting written notice and agenda of this meeting on the bulletin board in the municipal building, 1000 Route 10, Township of Hanover, by hand delivering, mailing, or faxing such notice and agenda to the following newspapers. Mars County's Daily Record, the Star Ledger, Hanover Eagle, and by filing same with the Township Clerk. We have a roll call. Mr. Committee Man Gallagher. Here. Committee Man Fermas. Here. Committee Man Mahalko. Here. Committee Man Cahill. Here. And Mayor Francioli. Here. Five members in attendance, sir. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, would you all please rise and join me in a prayer and pledge allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Almighty God, we ask that you bless this governing body with an abundance of wisdom and understanding so that every deliberation will result in actions which will promote the common good and the general welfare for all of the people of Hanover Township. Amen. Thank you. Well, please be seated. Okay, gentlemen, at this point, customary to open the meeting to the public for any items not appearing on the agenda. Motion to open. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open. If anyone would like to address the township committee, they can do so from the podium, giving us your name and address for the record. Uh, I know we have a lot of interest here tonight in a resolution that's going to be read very, very shortly. So I'm going to assume that at that time, if you have any comments, you'll make them along with the resolution. So uh, moving forward, the floor is right now open. Does anyone like to be heard at this time? Seeing none. Hearing none. Motion to close. So moved. All Second. in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Administrator. Okay, we have the approval of the Township Committee minutes of May 10th. May we have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. Motion, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So approved on communications. We have two letters of retirement. Uh, the first is a letter from junior engineer William Iannucci, uh, and it reads as follows to Mayor Francioli and Township Committee. This letter is to inform you that effective July 1st, I will be retiring from Hanover Township after 37 and a half years of service. I am ready to start the next chapter of my life. I have enjoyed working with many great people and made many friends. If there is anything I can do to help make the transition smoother, I will always be available. I want to thank everyone for being so kind to me over the years, and I will surely miss my daily interactions with all of you. I wish Hanover Township and all its employees all the best in the future. Sincerely, William Iannucci. May we have a motion to accept the letter? Motion to reluctantly accept the, the retirement uh, request of Mr. Bill Inucci, who's done a fabulous job in Hanover Township. Uh, we've benefited greatly every day on the quality of the roads, and Bill has been a, a major champion of that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the retirement letter is approved. The second letter of retirement is addressed to Chief Mark Roddy. It says, Dear Chief Roddy, please accept this letter of retirement from the position of detective. My last day at the Township of Hanover Police Department will be July 31st, 2018. It has been a pleasure working as part of your department. Best regards, Detective Salvatore Sino. Mm. Okay, we have a motion to accept the letter of retirement. I'd like a motion to accept that and okay. uh, congratulate Sal on his future endeavors. I've known Sal, which most of us have, for a very, very long time. He's served the town well, so uh, congratulations to him. Okay. We have a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So approved as we continue, ladies and gentlemen. The next uh, communication is from the Business Administrator Board Secretary of the Hanover Park Regional High School District. And in accordance with the uh, approval of the school budget, it, set, it sets out the payment dates of the uh, tax levy amounts to be raised during 2018 and 2019. During 2018, the total amount to be paid to the regional school district is $6,813,452. And in 2019, $6,813,000. $451. And the final communication is a notification from the Southeast Morris County Municipal Utilities Authority 
on the approval of two professional services uh, resolutions. The first is awarding a professional engineering service contract for the Clyde Potts Water Quality Management Program to Corona Environmental Consulting. And the second is a um, approval of a professional services agreement to Mott McDonald, a uh, professional engineering services contract for uh, automatic reading bid, uh, automatic uh, meter reading documents, and that is um, in the amount of $57,622. And the first resolution approval was for the Clyde Potts water quality in the amount of $88,710. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue with our agenda, we have one ordinance for consideration of adoption and public hearing first. We have the uh, notice that the ordinance and the notice of introduction appeared in full in the May 2nd issue of the daily record in accordance with law. At this time, uh, the ordinance is an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover repealing certain restrictions under Article 1 of Chapter 198 of the Code of the Township entitled Parks and Recreation Areas and establishing a new Article 4 mm -hmm. under Chapter 198 entitled B Meadow Pond Boating Regulations. So at this time, may we have a motion to convene the public hearing. I have a motion by Mr. Mahalko, seconded by Mr. Francioli. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Fermoski. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Is there anyone in chambers wishing to be heard concerning ordinance number 11-2018? Seeing none, hearing none, may we have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. We have a motion by Mr. Sir? Francioli, seconded by Mr. Cahill. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Fermoska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Now, before moving on to roll call for adoption, we have one change to the ordinance, and that is a recommendation from the Board of Recreation Commissioners at its meeting this past Tuesday evening. It is not a substantive change, and it deals with the resident fees for each boating vessel. The um, amendment would provide that uh, the resident fee for each vessel is $25 the non-resident fee for each boating vessel, $50, and uh, there would be an exemption fees waived for the volunteer members of the Cedar Knolls and Whippany firefighters and EMTs. So be before we move on that, may we have a motion to accept the non-substantive change? That's, uh, these are annu that's an annual fee. That that's is a correct. Fee. That's an annual, annual. yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a motion, seasonal fee. Motion to accept it. We have Second. a motion. Second. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Fermamaska. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. Now, on adoption as proposed with the amendment, be it resolved that an ordinance entitled an ordinance of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover, repealing certain restrictions under Article 1, Chapter 198 of the Code of the Township, entitled Parks and Recreation Areas, and establishing a new Article 4, under Chapter 198, entitled B Metal Pond Boating Regulations, be passed on final reading, and that a notice of the final passage of the ordinance be published in the May 30th issue of the Daily Record in accordance with law. So at this time, we have a motion on the adoption of the ordinance as amended. May we have a motion? I'll make the motion. Have a motion by Mr. Mahalik, second. second by Mr. Gallagher, <coughs> on roll call for adoption of Ordinance 11. 2018 with the amendment. Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Fermas. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So adopted. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue with our agenda, we have uh, resolutions as a consent agenda, and it's uh, items A. Through I, are there any comments from members of the Township Committee concerning any of the resolutions? Move they be approved. 
We have a motion by Mr. Second. Fermoska, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. You're going to, uh, you're going to read A? If you want me to. Yeah, sure. I, I would like, yeah, uh, we're going to approve, gentlemen. I've asked the administrator to fully read A. Okay. Uh, you want to do the roll, hold off on the roll call? Yeah. Okay. Correct. So we'll hold off on the roll call. We'll read the following uh, resolution as a proclamation into the record. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a proclamation of the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover condemning all forms of violence against human beings. Whereas the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover recognizes that as a nation, additional steps need to be taken to reduce violence carried out with weapons, physical and emotional harm, and oppression of all forms. And whereas, while the governing body understands that protecting innocent people from the violent acts of mentally disturbed individuals is needed, not enough attention is focused on all forms of violence per perpetrated against men, women, and children of all ages, race, color, creed, national origin, ethnic background, sexual orientation, or gender. And whereas, according to the National Institute of Occupational Safety, there are four types of violence, namely criminal intent, customer versus client, worker versus worker, and personal relationship disputes. And whereas acts of aggression take on various forms, whether they be verbal or physical, such acts include incivility, bullying, acts of sexual abuse, prejudice, intolerance, and racism. And whereas violence in all of its manifestations is a societal, pro is a societal problem, which claim innocent lives and destroy the human rights and fundamental freedoms of all persons, including a disrespect for religious and cultural diversity. And whereas the Township Committee firmly believes that it is necessary to generate a greater public awareness by condemning all forms of violence and the importance of education as the most effective tool in combating aggression and promoting a respect for life. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Township Committee of the Township of Hanover and the County of Morrison State of New Jersey as follows. One, the governing body calls upon all residents of Hanover Township to condemn all acts of violence, whether they be physical or verbal, against all human beings. And two, that education must be the primary tool in teaching our children about the dangers of all forms of violence and intolerance, and the importance of respecting life and the human rights of all individuals. Thank you, Joe. But before the vote, you want me to open? If there's any comment, allow any comment. Sure. Uh, I leave before the uh, committee votes on this. It's a uh, it's a very broad resolution, uh, and one that uh, uh, takes a very strong position against any forms of violence in our schools, in our in our country, in this nation. Uh, and uh, before we adopt on both this ordinance, this resolution and other resolutions, I'd like to give the uh, public courtesy of opening the floor. So on that note, if anyone has a comment uh, that they'd like to make at this time, now is the time to do so. <coughs> Thank you. Pardon? Um, you could use that microphone right oh, behind you. Okay. <clears throat> Your name and address for the record, please. Thank you. My name is Fern Walken. I live at 16 Grist Mill Road in Cedar Knolls. Um, that was an extremely broad um, resolution, and I commend you for it. I think all forms of violence uh, need to be condemned. Um, mm. I am here on behalf of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense and Every Town for Gun Safety. Um, I do want to thank Mayor Francioli and the Hanover Township Committee for organizing a, uh, a violence awareness um, in this proclamation. Um, got, there will be a gun violence awareness day, uh, which is going to be in um, on June 1st through June 3rd nationally. It is um, it called Wear Orange. Wear Orange began with um, the friends of Hadia Pendleton to honor her life and legacy. Hadia was gunned down by a stray bullet in Chicago after marching in President Obama's second inaugural parade. 
As Hadiyah's parents have said, by wearing orange, we reaffirm the right of every American to live free from gun violence. Since 2015, Moms Demand Action has continued to honor her legacy by organizing local, state, and national activities to mark Gun Violence Awareness Day by wearing orange. We have partnered with hundreds of mayors, governments, nonprofits, businesses, and individuals to make Gun Violence Awareness Day into a national event. In fact, the Empire State Building turns orange, the Sears Tower turns orange, the St. Louis Arch turns orange, as well as many other land, national landmarks. Um, so uh, we applaud, applaud the Hanover Township Committee for joining us as we honor the 35,000 individuals who died last year in the United States from gun violence. As you're painfully aware, gun violence is a daily occurrence with 96 individuals dying every day and school shootings like last Friday's shooting in Santa Fe, Texas are happening at an alarming rate. So I thank you for joining us in recognition of this American crisis. Um, we, we all feel very strongly about violence in general, and so I do commend you for broadening it, um, but we need to know that gun violence is the primary problem in this country as far as violence is concerned, whether it be criminal or domestic or suicide. I don't know if you know, that um, suicide by gun is almost two-thirds of the gun uh, incidents that happen every year, two-thirds suicide. So um, I invite the Township Committee and the public to join us in Morristown as they mark Gun Violence Awareness Weekend on Friday, June 1st through June 3rd, when we'll be turning South Street orange We'll be tying ribbons, we'll be posting um, placards in the windows of many, many businesses, and three of the churches of Morristown have agreed to um, turn their facade of their church orange for us. Um, perhaps in the future, the town ha township of Hanover will agree to turn the town hall orange for Gun Violence Awareness Day. So I thank you all again for being a partner in our fight against gun violence. Thank you. Right, thank you very much, and thank you for bringing the, uh, the matter to our attention. And uh, the Township Committee was very, very concerned uh, in uh, violence in its broadest sense, as this resolution does so state. Um, the terrible things that are going on in, in our schools today, uh, in be it guns, be it other forms of weapons, be it bombs, be it terrorism, be it so forth, uh, we, we declare through this resolution uh, that uh, our contempt for this kind of violence in the broadest sense. So I do thank you and I thank your group. Um, I hope that Hanover is uh, one of the towns that's taking a lead uh, in taking a hard line position uh, against violence in general. I'm sure there are many other municipalities that are, that are taking similar resolutions and I applaud you for that. So we thank you very much. Uh, on that note, Mr. Administrator, you call the roll. <laughs> on the consent agenda, uh, once again, any questions about any of the other items? Okay, hearing none, may we have a motion? Okay. So moved. Second? Second. Okay, on roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Ferramosca. Aye. Mr. Mahalko. Yes. Mr. Cahill. Yes. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. The consent agenda is approved. Um, can I refer a copy of that? Sure. Thank you, sign it. Yeah, yeah. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to sign the resolution, but we're going to give you a copy of it. Uh, that would be a copy. <coughs> is this the one? Yeah, that's yeah. the question. Uh, so. yeah, well, you, you need a copy and... Yeah, just, just three copies there and we can... Okay. Would you consent to a photograph with us? Okay. He didn't hear. He didn't oh, hear. Sure, 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 sure. I'm sorry. I've got, uh, I want to make sure you get the right copy too. Uh, absolutely. It's got a lot of signatures. Absolutely. You want myself? You want your, the township committee? Uh, whoever wants to join us is welcome to join us. I mean, the more the merrier. So. Okay. Thank you. This one. All right, gentlemen, you all want to join me in the uh, photograph? Sure. Here? Okay. Just sign it. I 
do also have a little gift for everybody. They are orange hearts. Oh, very nice. Well done. Along with Good. my card. So Good. please feel free Good to wear them. Good do job. I get any okay. credit for my orange hair? Once again, we're going to open to the public. So moved. Move the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. <coughs> gentlemen, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open. <coughs> Excuse me. If anyone would like to once again address the township committee, you may do so from the podium. <coughs> as soon as they clear my throat. <coughs> now, what are these? A little uh, motion to close. So, motion to second. close. Okay. Second. All right, right, gentlemen. Okay, Committee Man Gallagher, what's happening? <laughs> well, uh, you know what? Our new segment <coughs> is called Property Maintenance. And uh, uh. we all get a lot of questions about different properties in Hanover Township, and we're going to try to address some big picture here every other Thursday night. I have one, and we've all gotten questions on it, and I'm going to be very broad brush with this one. 256 Whippany Road, corner of Salem Drive and Whippany Road. We're all very aware of it. Building department has been there. Sean Donlin has been working closely with Fred. I can't get into the details, but people have said to me, Gallagher, why is that okay? It, it's not okay, but it's not something we could remedy overnight. The steps are being taken. It's being taken very seriously. And uh, I will report as much of the progress as I can, but right now it is a legal issue. The town is aware of it. We're working on it legally and with the building department, and hopefully we get some kind of remedy within a reasonable amount of time. So we are aware of it, yes, and uh, we're not happy about it, and we have the professionals working on it. Number two, although we've had a lot of rain, uh, it still doesn't mean it's okay to have lawns in some of our nicest parts of in, in town that show off what a beautiful town we do live in. I just want you to know last Tuesday, the building department handed out 25 notices along Route 10 alone cut lawn. to cut your lawn, please. Yeah. So Thank God grass only grows to 16 inches. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, so when somebody says, Gallagher, what about this, what about this, Ron, what about this, John, you guys aren't... The building department handed out 25 warnings in one day. They're very, very busy. Well, wow. I'm not happy to report <clears throat> because it's a big part of Hanover Township history, but in its current form, I guess I am happy to report. June 4th, Billy's Red Room will be demolished. Uh. The final disconnect letter did come through. Uh, it is scheduled. So if you want to take one more last look at it or just remember what it was before it's in its current form, uh, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Yeah. But thank God. Billy and Madeline are okay. 
and they're hopefully very happy right now when we know they're safe. So that building will be going beginning June 4th. I heard it takes two days to do that full demo. And it's gonna, I'm sure there's gonna be some street closures because uh, it's in a pretty tight area and a difficult area to work in. Yeah, it's a tough intersection. It is, it is. And that, that's why <clears throat> Joe Schleifer Sr. said they're getting the absolute best guys to do it. So if anybody wants to take a run down there, I'm sure it'll be a safe place to watch, but I'm gonna try to stop by there at one point, take a look at it. Uh, on the plus, on a happier note, June 15th, Hanover Township's big night out at Whippany Park High School. We're teaming up with Whippany Park High School and Hanover Park High School with 50 years of excellence. We're going to have something for everybody. It's going to be a great night. We want everybody to come. It's entirely free. Uh, and um, you'll see all of us there doing something and hopefully having a good time. It begins at 7 o'clock. And uh, the tug of war is going to be very, very serious this uh, year. A lot of people uh, are actually training for it. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not training for that, but I'm just trying to <laughs> get in a little bit of shape for the summertime. Uh, the other thing is um, DPW. Can't go every two weeks without mentioning how great these guys have done with our fields, with our potholes, with our uh, basins. Anywhere you go in town. It, as nice as it looks, it's not an accident. Brian Fran and the guys are 24-7. And the other day for the first time, I saw the brand new street sweeper. <laughs> so that brand new street sweeper is going to be everywhere all the time. When I was a kid, I learned a term called omnipresent. And I was told that God is the only thing that's omnipresent, but I think that new street sweeper is omnipresent because I'm starting to see the thing everywhere. But it was, uh, again, a very, very smart investment. It was uh, done with shoe box budgeting, cigar box budgeting. Cigar box budgeting. And uh, we, per we saved for a couple of years, and we have it now. It's ours free and clear, and it's going to make Hanover Township look very nice. And the only thing I'll say is I, I hope the weather's nice. I can't wait to see everybody at the parade on Monday. I'm sure Committee Mahalko is going to report on that. But have a good time, be safe, and uh, let's eat a lot and worry about it next week. Oh, that's great. That's it, Ron. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Memorial Day's here. I remember we bought the uh, other uh, street sweeper. I also was very impressed with the way we chose it. They put bowling balls in front of the pickup, <laughs> and if it sucked up the bowling ball, that was one of the machines we bought. <laughs> Boy, all you heard that thing was banging around inside. <laughs> John, Deputy okay. Mayor, how are you? Yeah, I'll follow that one up with um, tonight's word is innovation. Uh, Hanover's Economic Development Advisory Council, <clears throat> working with um, Mr. Cahill on loan, uh, completed a comprehensive RFP process uh, to issue a recommendation for a vendor uh, to the Township Committee to develop a new communication platform or a new web platform within Hanover Township. This is a significant Great. undertaking um, and it will benefit the town for years to come. More news ahead. Second point is from our environmental team in terms of innovation. The environmental team just this evening, green team, um, Chair Phil Glowey and Dennis Wilson, the environmental chair, were here presented to the Township Committee uh, their plan proposal for an RFP for micro solar site in Hanover Township. What that means in simple English is it's just not a solar panel facility, it will be a facility that will be capable of storing with batteries the energy that's created so that in the event of an emergency, our municipal campus will be able to operate under power that would be provided through solar. Uh, this will be taking probably a good eight months. Uh, the process, so step one of the process is get the RFP going, began tonight. Next point from the green team is uh, planting of milkweed. Mm. Milkweed is something that is very, very important in terms of pollination with bees. Uh, working with the, um, with, with, with the community farm, Stony Brook Community Farm, um, the green team has identified an area uh, to plant the milkweed, and they're currently seeking volunteers. Mr. Mahalko kindly has stepped up and working with his scouts influence to get the scouts to come out, uh, hopefully on June 2nd. So if you want to come out, get your hands into the earth, plant some milkweed, come join us Saturday morning, June 2nd, uh, near the community farm. Lastly, old technology, street lamps. Everybody's out walking around, the weather's finally gotten a little bit nicer. 
if you see a street lamp that's out, we're making an appeal for safety from the township committee. Report it. Report the street lamps that are out. You can do it in one or two ways. You can uh, do it on our website. It's simple and it's easy. Or you can notify the police dispatcher of the information. Last, not least, and always on top of the radar is roads. The quick road update for tonight is we've experienced weather delays in terms of moving forward. We've all had a rough two weeks weather-wise, but beginning June 4th, we are going to be looking at North Jefferson Road, the paving process, which is delayed slightly, but we, we need to get it done. It's a heavily traveled road within our town and it's the first road that will be paved in Hanover Township this spring. Mayor, that concludes my report. Very well, thank you, John. <coughs> Very good. Committee Mayor Hale. Thank you. <clears throat> so let me step back to, I believe it was the last Township Committee meeting. It was on the agenda. I was unable to attend, but I just I want to take the opportunity to congratulate Megan Pritchard and Edwin Sanchez, who effective June 1 will become probationary police officers here in Hanover. Mm. Uh, these additions replace one retiring officer and add one additional officer to the total force. Our plan being uh, that uh, bringing one more officer on is to bring one more officer on in December in order to maintain appropriate manpower levels and superior public safety services. So congratulations to them. Um, we wish them much success. Uh, next, speaking of public safety, the second annual Youth Public Safety Academy uh, is about to uh, commence. Uh, registration is now open for the Youth Academy. This two weeks program, this two week program provides participants with insight to and training on many aspects of public safety, including police, fire, and emergency management. Uh, the All Day Academy runs from June 25th to July 6th. Registration will remain open until June 4th and can be done in person at the community center. Uh, last year, the program was the winner of a New Jersey Parks and Recreation Association Award and was very re well received by those who participated. So this is a great program. I encourage uh, anyone to participate in it if they can. Moving on to the Hanover Sewerage Authority. Uh, congratulations are in order to them. Uh, the Hanover Sewerage Authority, they won for the 29th year in a row. They've earned the National Association of Clean Water Facilities Platinum Peak Performance Award. So that's 29 years without a violation. It's impressive. Yeah. No other facility in, in New Jersey comes close. And their understanding, they're confirming it now, but uh, we believe only one other facility in the nation. Um, is, is tied with that record. So 29 wow. years. Um, you know, considering there are roughly 380 uh, uh, facilities in that organization, including cities such as Los Angeles and Denver, uh, we've got some pretty stiff competition. So mm. congratulations to them. Uh, the award will be presented, I believe, at some point in July, and they're going to have a little celebration at the facility as well in honor of that. Landmark Commission. Uh, two bits of information here. New Jersey News 12 is planning on filming a story about the Whippany Burying Yard. Uh, the purpose of the piece will be to bring attention to the site's 300-year anniversary. Mr. Don Cadu, one of Hanover's valued historians, will be interviewed at the Burying Yard. I understand he'll be in period costume as well, so it should be pretty entertaining. Um, sometime in June, uh, more, more details to follow. Uh, we also learned that in addition to that, the New Jersey Municipalities Magazine will be publishing an article on this same subject in October. So a lot of attention being brought to it. Uh, there'll be a lot of activities around uh, uh, the celebration, the tricentennial celebration, uh, and I'll bring those details out as we get closer to October. Lastly, uh, the Hanover Education Foundation Annual Run for Health 5K Run and One Mile Fun Walk is going to take place on Saturday, June 9th. The race starts at Whippany Park High School with the fun walk starting at 8.15 and the 5K starting at 8.30. Pre-registration is available online at uh, HanoverEducationFoundation.org uh, and check-in and walk-up res re registrations uh, will begin at 7 a.m. the day of the race uh, in the front parking lot of the high school. So uh, last year was a great turnout. The weather wasn't very cooperative, but uh, still we probably had close to 200 people. Uh, it's a great organization for those who aren't familiar with it. It's a bunch of volunteers, uh, former Board of Ed members, former educators, current administrators, uh, and they basically look to source funding and grants and then distribute that amongst the K-12 through population here in Hanover Township. So it's a very worthy cause. Very good. And that's my report.
Very good. Thank you very much. Very good. Committee of Mahalco, what's happening in recreation? We have been busy. Uh, it's always, I, I thought we were busy in the beginning of the spring. <laughs> the end of the spring is even busier. This is the weather. Uh, we did several walkthroughs. Uh, the Brickyard concession stand, we did the walkthrough, gave a punch list. That will be operational very soon. Um, a few minor things need to be tidied up, but it's good to go. It's a really nice facility. Um, yeah, you have bathrooms, men's, women's. There's also a, a family bathroom in there too, as well as there'll be an area to cook. There'll be a stove, microwave, refrigeration, so you'll be able to serve uh, concession there. Not just at the football games, but also for lacrosse that plays there and uh, for the concert series that goes on uh, in July, um, which actually the Boy Scouts come out and support the concert series in July, which will tie me into the next one. Boy Scouts will be doing the selling and raising fundraising uh, during those events. Uh, so again, we had a the walkthrough there. We also had a walkthrough at the pool with Mr. Esp Esposito is there. Pool is looking good. We're getting ready for our opening, which is on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, Friday night, <clears throat> 5 o'clock, we'll be opening. Um, it's not too late to sign up. We're still taking memberships, although this is going to be one of our highest membership years. So uh, a lot of people are enjoying the pool. Um, a, lot of, a lot of good stuff going on over there. Um, couple more things going on. We have the Kids Triathlon. This is the second time we've run it. It will be on June 23rd. It's for ages 4 through 14. And yes, swimming, biking, and running. And depending upon the age, uh, for example, let's say a, a 7 to 8 year old would swim for 25 yards, bike for a mile, and then run for a half mile. And as they're older, uh, 13 to 14 year olds, 100 yard swim, 2 mile bike, mile and a half run. Um, so we're taking registration. You must register for that in advance and that is up until June 15th, Friday, June 15th. You can pick up the forms at the rec center. Um, that's going to be a fun one also. Um, our summer camps start June 27th. That's the uh, summer plus. Um, again, time is coming quick. The fireworks, July 2nd. Fireworks are on July 2nd, rain date of July 3rd, and that's, uh, that's Monday. We'll start at 6 o'clock. We have food trucks, we've got DJs, a bunch of activities going on. Fireworks typically fire off around uh, 9, 9.30, depending upon uh, the darkness, but usually around 9.30. Uh, and again, uh, that's here at the municipal building and at Veterans Field. Mm -hmm. uh, the trucks are here at the, uh, in the parking lot of the municipal building, and then the fireworks are back in the fields. Um, <coughs> What else? We had a good tour with our commissioners. We went toward Malapartis Park, looking for a future, seeing what we can do, what we can't do, what's available to us. Uh, we're looking at putting in a basketball court up in the upper Malapartis. We're refurbishing the uh, tennis courts also. And some other ideas are floating around. We even made a trip to Vets, uh, Veterans Field across the street, and to see what we can do in the future there. Uh, trying to give us a good five and ten year plan mm. where we're going to take uh, take these facilities and, and uh, where we can go with them. In open space, uh, we're on track to replace the playground over at Central Park. Mm. Uh, that should be pretty soon. Pretty soon. I didn't quite get a timeline on that, but it's in the works. The playground at Central There's a playground there we're replacing. Not the it's exercise old. area. Not the it? exercise area. Okay. No, there's a playground there yeah. and it needs to be updated, get some new equipment over there. Terrific. Right. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Fourth of July, folks, is going to be great. Uh, the celebration, of course, it's done on the Fourth of July, as, as uh, Michael just told us. But uh, at the same time, uh, you know, I have to uh, kudos to uh, Mayor Panulo, East Hanover. Uh, they had their food festival, uh, food truck festival, this past Sunday. Twenty-five food trucks. Wow, that's big. I forgot to mention yep. our veterans portion, the yep. parade on Monday. Yeah. Ah, that's yeah. You parade that, on Monday. Holy yeah. cow! Can't believe I forgot that. Yeah. Eight thirty. We have a memorial here. Yep. And then the parade steps off from the high school at nine thirty, and <clears> then <throat> it travels down Whippany Road, Persippany Road, Old Mount Pleasant, and then up to uh, the American the Legion. Legion. Yeah. Up the American Legion. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I didn't want to forget no, that. No, that's no, that's a big that's 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 So come out, support. Uh, a lot of youngsters will be out there tossing candy, and us old men will be walking. You know, join us at the Legion. Car. If you can't make the parade, certainly get over to the Legion. 
uh, it's always a great time. Uh, meet with a lot of your neighbors and uh, a lot of refreshments, a lot of hot dogs, uh, cold beer, drinks, etc. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, soft drinks, by the way. And uh, you'll, you'll have a great time. It's a great day. So uh, uh, that, that's it. So many festivals going on, like I said. Uh, Very busy. East Hanover did their uh, uh, 25 food trucks, which was a lot of fun, so that worked out good. Uh, the uh, reports, uh, updates on the uh, Stony Brook Farm and Garden, uh, it's, it's doing super. We had a, May, a meeting of uh, a lot of the gardeners on May 17th. Uh, some 50 plus gardeners showed up for that meeting, which is terrific. Uh, at this particular time, uh, 67 of the gardens are committed to, more are, are more on the way. Uh, we have 140 gardens, so the question is, uh, you know, can you still uh, have an opportunity to have one? The answer is yes. If you discuss it with the, if you contact the Recreation Department, uh, Denise Brennan at the Recreation Department, uh, you can tour the garden, you can see where you'd like to have your garden, and you can uh, commit to a garden for one year for a modest fee of $25. Uh, township provides uh, topsoils, township provides mulch and wood chip materials, etc. Uh, the garden is, is beautiful in the sense that now it is complete. Water systems are up and running well. Um, we, uh, we're putting benches in. Uh, and this, uh, in a very short period of time this summer, we are going to go ahead on the uh, uh, sheltered pavilion that we'll have out there. But that'll be used in conjunction with our school children. We have a portion of the garden that has been given up to the schools. They'll be using that for educational purposes as well. And children can have a hands-on experience with, with gardening. So that, that we're very, very, very pleased about. That's going well. Library, uh, as I said on there, as a liaison, is doing exceptionally well. Uh, Committeeman Gallagher asked at the last meeting uh, how that's going with the amount of patrons we have. Hanover has 16, uh, 60,000, uh, 6,000 6, patron cards out. But, but that's not the statistic for that library. The real statistic for that library is how many transactions or how many activities go on in the course of a month. And this past month we had nearly 3,000 people uh, involved with the library in, in either uh, lecture series or other programs or, uh, you know, in, in book series, etc. So. It's doing, they're doing a phenomenal job up there. We thank them very, very much for that. Matter of fact, we also celebrated 10 members of the Whippany Park uh, High School who graduated the library's Toastmasters program. That's great. Uh, I guess it gives you a chance to talk. We know what that's all about over here. Uh, so uh, congratulations. I'm, I'm glad to see you're on your way with that. That works out well. Um, on that note, um, I want to also personally uh, thank ARC, Ark of Morris, uh, for a wonderful evening, uh, last evening with some achievement awards. We were a part of that, and I want to thank them uh, for uh, their, their kind words uh, and support of Hanover Township and what we're doing with ARC homes, etc. So, Bill Testa, nice job. Thank you very, very much. Uh, finally, punctuate the Memorial Day again. Parade starts at 9.30 from the high school. Uh, we're going to march ourselves down past Billy's. Uh, unfortunately, as Committeeman Gallagher said, we're going to see the remnants of it still, but soon to, soon to be dealt with, and then join us at the Legion after that for a reception. So, having said that, any other business from the Township Committee? Good. None? Good. None? All close? All right. Motion to uh, so adjourn. Moved. Okay. Adjourn. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Back into session. Yeah, Channel 2 News. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh. <laughs> oh, you're yeah, we uh, yeah. yeah. oh, um, you don't have the county yeah. 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 They don't come in. Fate. Yes. Yeah, they take care of it. I guess they can hold appeals.